Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is gonna be all about what I got for my birthday. Uh, I've got a clip in a second that I filmed on my birthday where I was very giddy, so I apologize <laughs> in advance for speaking too fast. Um, I have mixed feelings about these kinds of videos because I don't want it to look like I'm showing off or bragging because that's really not what I'm about. Um, however, I love watching other people's what I got for my birthday videos and I'm a strong believer that if somebody is kind enough to send me something for which there is no expectation or pressure um it's they should be able to see me open it uh so I like to open things on camera so yeah that's gonna be the video today at the time of filming this it's the 30th of August so it's a couple of days after my birthday um and I realized that actually I'd only filmed that very giddy clip of me I say clip it's like half an hour long um section of me opening the presents and I hadn't actually done an intro or an outro so that's what I'm coming in to do. I thought I would also show you a couple of other bits I got from my family because what I opened on screen uh, was all from book friends um, and was very bookish and I've got a few bits here that I'm just really excited to show you um, to show you see, show, blah, blah, words so you can see what I got. So first of all my lovely brother and sister-in-law know me very well got me an Amazon voucher which I've already spent <laughs> um, and then my sister-in-law got me these. I've never seen these Shake Shake Baby Passion Fruit Martini. I mean, the packaging alone I'm obsessed with. Uh, pina Colada. And a strawberry daiquiri. Now, obviously, you have to drink responsibly and only if you're over the age of 18 or wherever, it, whatever the legal age is in your country. But I just thought these were really cool. And I really like the tins. Um, and also, I love a cheeky cocktail. So that was a fantastic present. So that was a very, very lovely start. Um, I'll do that in a minute. My darling husband bought me lots and lots of lovely things, uh, including these cat earrings. Will they focus? There we go. Really like subtle and small, but I just, I'm obsessed with them. He's also booked for us to go uh, back to the Cotswolds in October. We're going to stay here. You guys have seen, if you've watched previous vlogs, we stayed there earlier this year. Did I take him there for his birthday? I can't remember. We have been there before and I'm very excited to go back because it was absolutely stunning. He bought me lots of bits and pieces, but... Um, I thought I'd show you these. Look at these cat tabs. They're so cute. So I'm very excited to tab a book with these. It'll obviously have to be a cat book. Um, and then he also bought me cat socks. I've already worn one pair of these. So there's only two left in here. But look how cute they are. There's also a pink and grey one I've already used. But yeah, these are absolutely adorable. Uh, so those were the kind of some of the bits of my husband. He did properly spoil me. Um, so yes, he's... He's a, he's a good one. Um, and then my lovely son, Charlie, uh, chose for me some Ferrero Rocher. I love Ferrero Rocher. They are a top tier chocolate. If you think differently, sorry, but you're wrong. <laughs> so I'm very excited to have these. And that'll last me a good long time. And then there's this. Now, this was from Charlie, uh, but it was Gary's idea. And Gary is the one that commissioned it. So uh, the lovely, lovely Amy um from a non-fiction feminist has been redesigning my channel art which you will see not in the next video because that'll be the august vlog but the one after that you will see the new channel art on and she's also designed some stunning bookmark um designs which will be coming soon i'm working on it um but gary got in touch with her and asked her to commission a portrait of me <laughs> for my birthday and this is what she has created and then the boys framed it so look at this I just, my jaw, my jaw absolutely dropped when I opened it. I'm trying to hold it so it's not really reflective. So you've got me here. This is one of my actual dresses that she's drawn. And then we've got uh, Molly over here. We've got Jack on my lap and then Sav. Look at the books, like sunflowers and pink roses, my favourite flowers. I love the ivy coming up here. Like I just, I nearly cried opening this because it, I'm just completely blown away by it. So yeah, this was probably my, one of my favourite presents. <laughs> this year and yeah that's gonna go up on the wall in our hallway and I'm very very excited about it um also in the clip that you're about to watch should I explain this now I could have explained it in the outro too late I've already started talking in the clip that you're about to watch you see me open two gift vouchers from Mr B's and I don't know I haven't watched it back yet um you might be able to see confusion on my face because it says on it love Amelia Charlie and Olivia and I was like I don't I don't know my brain immediately went family group and I was like I don't know a family group with Amelia, with an Amelia, a Charlie and Olivia, who, 
is that. And I literally went into Mr. B's on my birthday because I'll show you in the outro, a couple of the books I've already bought with it, with some of these, um, and asked them if they could tell me who had bought these because I was a little bit, like it came to my house with my name on. So I was a little bit weirded out. I was a bit like, I don't know who this is from. And they couldn't tell me because it had been bought in store. And then <laughs> the lovely Charlie, Charlie Brooks, messaged me on Instagram and said, did you get the book vouchers? And it suddenly clicked into place. So rather than it being a family group, a lovely bunch of my friends have got together basically and collaborated on a birthday present, which makes me very emotional um, because it's Amelia from Amelia Barlow Books, Charlie from Charlie Brooks and Olivia Savannah from Olivia's Catastrophe. And they are the ones that have bought me these beautiful vouchers. So thank you very much ladies. And I'm sorry if I look slightly baffled in the clip. It did confuse me a little bit. And Charlie pointed out that she probably should have put booktube in brackets, which yes, <laughs> would have helped, but we worked it out in the end. So that's who we're talking about there. Um, and then also the lovely Charlie also sent me a birthday card, which is over there so you can't see it, but it is beautiful. Um, and inside the card, she'd sent me these earrings. There's obviously two of them, but it's easier for me to hold up one if I, there we go. Can you see how cute that is? I am so excited to wear these. I've had many, I've had a, quite a few pairs of earrings this, this birthday. You'll see in a second, another pair that I got. Um, and I'm so excited to wear these. Also my kids at school will love them. So yeah, this is kind of it for the, slightly chaotic intro would you expect anything less so now we're going to jump over to me on my birthday I was very excited so I apologize in advance for talking far too quickly uh but here is what I uh, here are the presents that I opened on my birthday it's the 28th of August and it's my 36th birthday and I'm having just the nicest day. I was awake very early. I get very overexcited about my birthday because I'm a giant child, even though I'm 36 years old. Uh, so I was awake at about 5 a.m., um, <laughs> which is excessive, I know. But yeah, I just sat and read a little bit and had some text messages from uh, some friends to start the day off. And then Gary got up and I've had presents from him, which have all been wonderful, including this T-shirt, which says, easily distracted by cats and books. Um, and also these cat earrings, which are just so cute. Um, but I just thought before we go out for lunch, we're going out for lunch at Turtle Bay today, which is one of my favourite places. And then we're going book shopping. Um, and I have a huge stack of gifts that have arrived in the last few weeks uh, that I've been putting to one side and not opening. I don't even know if I can lift, ooh, lift them all. Like, this is excessive. <laughs> um, so before we go into town, ooh, nearly i thought i would sit and open them um now i think everything in here is from friends there might be a family present in here as well somewhere but i don't know um and yeah i just thought i would sit and open them with you guys and show you what i got and all that kind of stuff usual disclaimer i never ever ever expect people to send me things for any reason um even my birthday so there is no obligation to do this at all i am incredibly grateful um, and it's also why I run each year, I run a Just Giving page for my birthday uh, so that if people want to celebrate with me um, and want to do it with a charity donation, they can do that. Um, I think at the time of filming this clip, we're on about 60 quid, which is great. Um, and the Just Giving page will, will run until about the 2nd of September, I think. So I'll leave it linked because if you feel like you want to celebrate my birthday by making a do donation to Book Trust, that would also be awesome. But as always, there is no pressure. Okay, disclaimer out of the way. Let's start opening some stuff. So this envelope arrived about a week ago and it's got Mr. B's Emporium um, on the front. And I said to Gary, I was like, I think that's a birthday present. Can you open it and just see? And he peeked inside and he was like, that's a birthday present. So let's see what this is. I've got two envelopes with my name on the front. So I'm completely intrigued as to what this is. Mr. B's, if you don't know, is this stunning bookshop in Bath. Uh, one of my favorite places. What is this book? Ah, oh, okay. So happy birthday, Victoria. We hope you have the best day. Lots of love. Amelia, Charlie, Olivia. This voucher gives you 20 pounds to spend on fabulous books and Mr. B's. Thank you so much. What an incredible gift. Wow, okay, and look at this for a, a gift voucher. Okay, so that's one. What's the other one then? Oh, that's also this. Uh, to Victoria, thank you for being the awesome person that you are. Have the happiest of birthdays. Also, love Amelia, Charlie and Olivia for ten, and at 10 pounds. Oh gosh, I've got 30 pounds in Mr. B's book vouchers. That's incredible, thank you so much. I will have so much pleasure in spending these. I think I might keep these. We are going like, 
like I said, we're gonna go book shopping today, but I feel like sometimes it's nice to keep a voucher for a bit until you really need it. Um, and this is so exciting, so thank you. I just, I love the style of these. I hope they'll let me keep these after I spent them, hopefully. So thank you so much. Okay, so that's the first one. Then let's try not to show my dress to the internet. We've got this little one. Let's see what's in here. Oh, no, fail. I do also, a couple of disclaimers, I have Molly asleep over there. I've had to leave the door a little bit open because the cats get stressed when there are closed doors. You can also see some of my other cats. Can you see the theme here? <laughs> um, so there might be havoc at some point. Also, Gary's upstairs showering, so you might hear him moving around um, in a bit. But I just got too excited. I've been looking at this stack for like the last week or so, getting more and more excited. And it was just like, I need to open this. I have actually made the worst job of this in the... Oh, I've got scissors here. Let's just use these. <sighs> I always get very excited about my birthday. And then I get a bit overwhelmed and have to go to bed early because I'm actually a child. Right, let's see what this is. Let's see if we can find a gift note. Okay. Who is this from? Oh, Mary from Mary Among Stories. She said, Dearest Victoria, this seems to be the most adorable read for autumn, so of course you must have it. Thank you for your endless generosity. I'm so grateful to call you a friend. Happy birthday and lots of love. Lots of hugs from Mary Among Stories. Thank you so much, Mary. I feel exactly the same about you. Oh, I don't want to weep on the internet. Okay, what did she pick that I had that was autumnal? Oh, cute! This is Garlic and the Vampire by Brie Paulson. I can't remember who I saw talking about this. It might have been Leanne, actually. Um, in her recent Tops and Bottoms. And this is this is a little graphic novel, look. I just flicked through and then didn't show you guys how rude. Um, about garlic, who goes on an adventure and there's a vampire involved. This looks so cute. This looks perfect for October reading. And yes, I'm getting excited about October already. It's fine. Thank you so much, Marie. That was an excellent choice. It's so cute. I kind of want to read it now, but I feel like it'll be like more atmospheric come spooky season. I mean, just look at that. That's so cute. Thank you so much. Okay, we are, oh gosh, okay. I'm already, I'm already overwhelmed. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Right, then I had this one. This, I'm pretty sure, is from Charlotte at Books and Bargains. Obviously, everyone that I mentioned is linked. I mean, you've probably heard me mention everybody about 500 times because this is a birthday unboxing and these are all my friends. Oh, look, it's been wrapped so nicely. Okay, let's be good and do the card first. Also just to make sure that this is Charlotte and not somebody else. I might've got myself confused. Oh my gosh, why can't, why can't I open things today? <sighs> Calm. <laughs> I told you, I'm kidding. Just be happy you're not my husband today because he, bless him, is a very good sport but he has to put up with a very giddy wife all day long. Okay, right. Ah, uh, happy birthday. I got you this, <laughs> it's got a little fish. Yeah, cats are definitely the theme this year. Yeah, it's from Charlotte. Happy birthday, picked out some things I think you will like and hopefully I will have sent this on time. You did, you did send it on time, arrived perfectly. So that's very cute. Let's leave Let's put that there. I'll put it up with the others in a minute. I don't know where to start, so I'm just gonna start with this one. There's quite a few things in here charlotte gosh spoiled right let's actually open it where you can see it uh, i can't get in i do love this paper i'm sorry i'm ripping it but the cats will appreciate it molly and jack had a right game this morning as i was opening things oh these are so cute tell me those don't make you think of nevermore those are beautiful this is from just trade Oh, sorry, this product is handmade by the Flowering Desert Project, which provides training and fairly paid work for women from rural communities in Tamil Nandu, south southern India. That is such a cool thing. And I love it. They are such never more areas. I've literally said, I've literally just put these cat ones in for today, but I feel like like these will be good for school, I think. That'd be really fun. Oh, thank you so much. Right. <sighs> Calm yourself, Victoria. Right. It's only 10 in the morning. Otherwise, I'm going to burn out before lunchtime. Oh, chocolate. Yes. Seed and bean. Oh, salted caramel, dark uh, dark chocolate. That's very nice. That has marking snack written all over it. My uh, classroom drawer is going to be great this year. This feels like socks, which is very exciting. Fun fact about me. So I don't know if it's that fun. It actually makes me sound like a total loser. I love a pair of socks. I need like a nice pair of socks. I always enjoy. Hasn't bought me three pairs of cat socks as well. Like I said, 
the uh, cat the theme is strong this year and Charlotte has continued it. Look at those black cats. Adorable. Oh, these are really soft. Yes. Thank you. And I love this. Again, it's very like Halloween-y, isn't it? Kind of like a pumpkin colour. Whew. Okay. And then this little guy. Rainbow paper as well. We all know I love a rainbow. Oh, oh what is that? Oh, is it a lamp? Yes. She's got me a cat lanyard. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. And it's got all the different cats with jobs. I don't know if it's gonna focus, there we go. So you've got like an artist cat and a doctor and a librarian or a writer. Is that a teacher cat? The one with the little pointer? Scientist, artist, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, so I already have two lanyards that I wear for work. One is the standard like staff one and one is a rainbow one. Can I wear three lanyards to work or is that ridiculous? Maybe I should rotate the the um, rainbow and the cat one. I love that, thank you so much. That's one of my new favorite things. And then she also sent me this, I asked her for this because she had, um, this is the arc I think, yeah. Um, and this is The Honeymoon by Kate Gray. Um, and this just looks like a really fun, fast paced thriller. I might read this this month as a final read of August. So yeah, I'm excited for this. And when is this out? I feel like this must be out by now because yeah, it came out on the 20th of July. So loads of you might have read this. If you've read this, let me know what you thought. So thank you so much, Arla. I'm actually gonna put all of those bits back in that box so that I know who's given me what. Oh gosh, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I feel like this video is gonna be half an hour and me going, oh my gosh, look at all these cat things. Okay, then this box, if I open the flaps up to hide my address, is from Chloe. Uh, and if you're on my Instagram, you saw this arrive a couple weeks ago now, because she's very organised. Look at this. Like, it's unreal. Also, I meant to say, I got partway through drying my hair this morning, and my hair dryer basically exploded. So, um, that's fun. So I'm going to have to spend some of my birthday money on a new hair dryer, so sorry about that. It is what it is. Okay, card first. Oh, right. We're calming. Okay, yeah, it's birthday time. Yes, it is. Okay, to Victoria, happy birthday. I hope you're spoiled rotten like you deserve. Well, I have been already been spoiled rotten today. You're such a fantastic human and amazing friend today. It's all about celebrating you. Lots of love, Chloe. Ah, don't, don't make me emotional. I already, she texted me this morning. She made me laugh so hard this morning. I love her. Um, she texted me at like 1 a.m. to say happy birthday by text. And obviously I didn't see it because I'm a nana and I was asleep. Um, so she was actually the first person to wish me a happy birthday this morning. So that was lovely. So I texted back and I was like, oh, thanks. Not expecting her to text me for a few hours because it was like 6 a.m. when I text her and it's a bank holiday Monday. And then she sent me a panic te text being like, oh, I just jolted awake because I forgot to explain one of your birthday presents. And I was like, why are you awake, you lunatic? Um, and something in here, she sent me something in a size large for lounging around. She's like, I didn't want you to think that I was implying that you were large. And I was like, you are just so cute. So that is the kind of human, like adorable human that we, we are dealing with with Chloe. Um, and yeah, we've been texting a little bit on and off this morning and she was asking how my day was going. I was like, it's so nice, but I'm also feeling a bit weepy, <laughs> which I always feel on my birthday, just kind of low level weepy all day. And I think it's just, it's that thing, isn't it? Birthdays, on your birthday, you should feel completely, oh my gosh, let's not get emotional. I just think on your birthday, ideally, you should feel completely surrounded by love all day. And I just do, and I feel very lucky about for it. And yeah. Anyway, let's open some stuff instead of me getting all mushy. As usual, all beautifully wrapped. Ooh. Any friends of mine will know. I can't wrap stuff, so I'm always like, I'm so sorry. I tried, but it looks like I wrapped it with my feet. And if it's ever wrapped nicely, it's because I got Gary to do it. <laughs> I just suck at it. But anyway, what is this? <gasps> yes, more cat socks. Mm -mm -mm. So we're now on like about 10 pairs of cat socks, which is amazing. Oh, look how cute these are. I love these colors. So we've got like cream, blue, white, mustard yellow. I'm really into this color. I feel like I'm gonna wear a lot of that, that color, this color in autumn and pink. How lovely. If I wasn't already wearing cat socks, I'd put a pair of those on, but those will get me. Is that five pairs? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. First week of back, first week, bleh. can't talk can't talk I'm overwhelmed first week back to school sorted <laughs> okay let's go with this little one 
Oh. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Oh, how cute! Oh my gosh! It's two little pins. My school young lanyard is going to be absolutely popping this year. So this one is a little bubble tea cat. Which, oh my gosh. Also, if you like bubble tea and cats, stick around on my channel because... There might be some exciting stuff coming. And this one says, life is better with cats. Ain't it just? I love those. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then this cute little baronet as well. Let's keep them safe in there. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay. Well, that sounds promising. We love the sweeties. Got the sweetest tooth in the world. Eh. Right. Oh, Ooh, these are intriguing. I've not had these before. Ooh. Oh, I love American sweets. This is cookie dough bites, peanut butter. I feel like those are gonna disappear immediately. I also feel like they'd make a really good marking snack, but whether or not I've got a week or less than I go back to work on Friday, it's now Monday, so I've got four days. Whether or not they last the four days, I don't know, but thank you very much. Those look very intriguing. Okay, and then, oh, I thought that was it. Okay, <laughs> there's more stuff in here. I was like, oh, well, that'll, that'll be the last thing. No, <laughs> no, it isn't. Okay, I didn't, I wasn't given any instructions on what order to open stuff, so we're just going to go in the order that they come to hand. I think this must be the thing that she sent and then panicked because she'd sent it in a size large. Like, there's no need to panic, honestly. <laughs> I would not have been offended. Ugh, right. Oh, it's very soft, whatever it is. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Look at the kitties. They look like my babies. Oh, my gosh, I love it so much. This is perfect. It's really soft. Can't have too many cat t-shirts. I love it a lot. Thank you. Okay. And then we've got two... I'm going to guess these are books. I'm going to take a solid punt that these are books. I'm really intrigued because... I deliberately haven't been looking at my wish list because I didn't want to be spoiled for anything, but I don't know if she ordered from my wish list or if she gone off piece. I mean, I would definitely trust her to go off piece with my knowing my reading taste. So I'm intrigued to see what we've got. Sorry, Molly's being completely adorable over there, but if I turn the camera, she'll immediately jump down because she is contrary. But just trust me, she's being adorable. What is this? Okay, so this is, let's take this off the front. This is The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. And she said, I saw this on your wish list and had I had the arc. I left it on there in case anyone buys you a finished copy, but feels wrong not to pass this on. Thank you, this is awesome. So this came out, uh, it says 9.22. Um, and again, I can't remember. Someone was talking about this being one of their favourite books of the year. I think it's a carry retelling, but with the additional like theme of race or racism uh so tiffany G. d jackson returns to the horror genre with a chilling and suspenseful novel following a biracial teen attending her georgia high school's first integrated prom after passing for white most of her life in a story about identity the real horrors of american racism and the terrifying power of one girl trying to reclaim her life how exciting i'm also taking part in chloe's vampire diaries um read a read a long read a thon um i know nothing about the vampire diaries i'm completely ignorant to it but the i really really liked the prompts i'll leave her announcement video linked in the description and one of the prompts is to read a book set at, set in a school so i think this is going to be for that how exciting thank you very much i'm very excited to read that and then let's see what this one is i'm going to leave that little sticker on the front as well there we go right oh my gosh spoiled grateful overwhelmed in a good way what is this one? Ooh, the housemaid by frida mcfadden so my sister-in-law was talking about this and i think it's been all over tiktok i'm not on tiktok um but i've heard really good things and uh something about a, a housemaid and i try i only try on one of nina's pristine white dresses once but she soon finds out and by the time i realize my bedroom door only locks on the outside it's far too late but the Winchesters don't know who I really am. They don't know what I'm capable of. 
this looks so good uh, and again really really fast paced i've been reading some kind of slower paced stuff in august so i feel like my september reading is usually slumpy um so stuff like this will definitely help so thank you so much chloe oh my gosh again i'm gonna put this all back in this box so i know what's what i'm obsessed i'm obsessed and this looks really it's really soft and looks so lovely these probably won't make it into my classroom but if they do they'll be i feel like they'll be like top tier marking snacks and these pins honestly between you and charlotte my lovely card my school lanyard is gonna be the absolute best oh i've got to move my legs for a second Oof, right okay so we have three par four parcels left so we've got three amazon and a moon pig parcel which is very exciting i am a little bit like notorious for sending people stuff from moon pig <laughs> mostly because it's convenient and easy uh and like relatively inexpensive so i'm intrigued to see who's sent me one back because i um yeah i'm just intrigued but anyway let's just i'm just literally going down the stack there's no particular order so let's open this huge one bigger than my head okay let's see if i can do a better job with this one than the last one. Oh, off in one lovely oh oh hardback who's sending me hardbacks where is the gift note i don't think there's a gift note that's annoying let's see what the book is oh yes how very exciting. Oh, there is a gift note. Tell a lie. Right, uh, that's the receipt. Oh, it's from Joe and Alfie. Jo Honestly, Joe is such a lovely friend and she's so supportive. And Alfie, her little dog, is just completely adorable. She sent me um, a message on Instagram this morning with a picture of him in this little bow tie. Like, it's just so cute and like just really made my day. So she said, Hope you're enjoying the school break. Make the most of it and have a wonderful birthday from Joe and Alfie. So this is very exciting. So this is Killing Me by Catherine Butiner. I might have said that wrong. Look at this. Um, oh, this is another one set in a school. Maybe I'll read this as well for the round board. Or maybe I'll read all the books. Uh, I don't think I've read from this author before. Um, but I can't remember who was talking about it. Somebody was talking about it and I was intrigued. Oh, look at that for a lovely bright red naked hardback okay so this says the young women at mount holyoke college are famed for their beauty and virtue except for agnes and bertha with their strange dresses scholarly pursuits and intimate friendship these two students are considered peculiar one autumn morning bertha vanishes leaving agnes to wander the cold university halls alone as a search team dredges the pond where bertha might have drowned an investigation into her disappearance begins agnes must know might know the truth but she is being unhelpfully tight-lipped inciting the suspicions of Bertha's family, the students at Mount Holyoke, and the detective hired for the case. As secrets from Bertha and Agnes's lives begin to surface, so do the competing agendas driving each person who is searching for her. What happened to Bertha? Who would want to hurt her? And could she still be alive? So yeah, this looks really intriguing. I definitely had somebody give this a rave review, which is why I ended up on my wish list. Thank you so much, Joe and Alfie. It's beautiful. Look how beautiful that is, honestly. Obsessed with this cover. Okay. Let's put that over there with Garlic the Vampire. Right, let's see what's in this one. Off in one. Right, again, this, wow, this is a hardback as well. Oh no, this was very similar to that one. Please let it not be another Amazon mistake. Okay, so this, oh, this is from Tracy. She said, enjoy your gift. This book will hopefully be one of your faves. Love, Tracy. Thank you so much, Tracy. Uh, she's Bookie Tracy on Instagram. So let's see what she's gone for. Ooh, okay. Fair Rosalind by Natasha Solomons. So I have had very, very mixed views of, on this book, which is why I am so intrigued. Uh, it's a retelling. Oh, another. It was, this colour must be in at the moment in publishing. Um, it's beautiful. Like, this is a retelling of Romeo and Juliet from Rosalind's perspective. So in case you don't know the play because she doesn't always she doesn't often come up in um adaptations but uh romeo is in love with a girl called rosalind at the start of the play um and he then goes to the the reason he goes to the capulet's party is to see rosalind and instead he meets juliet who is rosalind's cousin and you kind of know the rest that goes from there and this is a retelling so it says before romeo loved juliet he loved fair rosalind and yeah this is a retelling from her perspective uh, I don't think I've read from this author before either. No. Um, so yeah, I'm really intrigued about this uh, and how this is going to be done. Um, it just says a subversive 
powerful untelling of Shakespeare's best known tale narrated by a fierce forgotten voice. This is Rosalind's story. Um, and I teach Romeo and Juliet to year nine in term six at the end of next, it'll be next June, July, I'll be teaching it. I'll obviously read this way before then. Um, but yeah, I was just really intrigued by it. And like I said, I have heard five star reviews and one star reviews for this book. So I'm very, very intrigued to see where I land on that. So thank you so much, Tracy. Another gorgeous hardback, honestly. Spoiled. Okay, the last Amazon one before we do the uh, Moon Pig is this humongous <laughs> box which arrived yesterday um, as I was opening some... Uh, yesterday I had... Mine and my mother-in-law had our kind of family gathering um, and I'm not sure which order these videos are going to go up in so if the second part of my August vlog has gone up you'll have already seen that if you've watched that video um if you haven't it's coming like the footage and like of our cake and things um and uh, yeah i was opening a few presents from charlie because he's not with us today um and my brother and sister-in-law um when this arrived and i was like oh i can't open that because it's got my channel name on it which means it's come from my wish list and charlie was like oh, what is that i was like i'm genuinely not sure so let's open it up and find out i feel very excited to see i'm gonna have to use the scissors on me carefully Right. Ooh. Okay, I've got my dress out of the way. So let's have a look at this together. Okay, no clues yet. Ooh! Okay. Oh, oh, somebody. Somebody went to town. Who is this from? From L Shipside. Laura. <laughs> Laura, you are in. Oh my gosh, you're so naughty. Happy birthday, lovely lady. Hope you have a fabulous day and I'll spoil. Well, yeah, <laughs> from Laura. Okay, let's do this a bit at a time. The first thing she's gone for. So with my wish list, like I said, I never expect people to send me stuff. The reason I have one is mostly because I put stuff on there so that I can keep an eye on it in case like there's a sale or a price drop or whatever. So I put this on there because I love, I love Burt's Bees. These are really expensive, Laura. Um, so I was putting it on in the hope that there would be like an end of summer discount or sale. Um, so this is, I, don't, I almost don't want to open it. Look how pretty this is. So this is Burt's Bees Watermelon and Mint um, like gift set. And it's got hand cream, lip balm um, and a tinted, I think it's a tinted lip balm. And I'm completely obsessed with Burt's Bees stuff. And I love the watermelon flavour. So that, oh, it's, it's almost too much. Okay. And then the book that she's gone for, I think it was Olivia Savannah. I still talking about this, and I was so intrigued. Um, this is the list by Yomi Adegoki. Hopefully, I've said that correctly. I need to look up how to say this. This looks really intriguing, and this cover, honestly, I'm just like, what does it mean? So this says, I'll just read you the blurb: uh, verified couple, unverified rumours. Ola Olijedi, a high-profile journalist at Woman magazine, is marrying the love of her life in one month's time. Young, beautiful and successful, she and her fiancé Michael are the couple goals of their social networks. And as, Mike, and as Michael has finally landed the job of his dreams, the pair truly seem to have it all. Until one morning, when they both wake up to the same message. Oh my God, have you seen the list? It began as a list of anonymous allegations about abusive men circulated in secret to protect other women. Now it has been published online. Ola made her name breaking exactly this type of story. She would usually be the first to cover it, calling for the men to be fired, except today Michael's name is on there. With their future on the line, Ola gives Michael an ultimatum to, pro ultimatum to prove his innocence by their wedding day, but will the truth of what happened change everything for the both of them? Compulsively page-turning, wildly entertaining and piercing with fearless insight, The List is a sensational debut novel from an electric new voice in fiction. And I'm just really excited by it. Also, we know how much I love a black-on-black -black spine. So yeah, I'm really intrigued by this book. Oh my gosh, I'm going to want to read all these books like right now. But thank you so much, Laura. I've definitely been spoiled, as you can see from this. Uh, and I very, very much appreciate you. Oh, okay. Also, the amount of cardboard boxes, our cats are going to be so happy for the next few weeks. Right, then, yeah, this arrived. And this has got the short version of my name on it. So I feel like it might be from a family member rather than from one of you guys. But I thought we'd open it now anyway. Um, Sorry, it sounded like there was a knock at the door, but no. Um, Right, how do I get in? Here we go. Okay. 
Okay. Right, let's get my dress out of the way. There we go. Right. What is that? Thornton and France. Okay, let's get it out of the box. Molly loves moon pick boxes because of the flap on them. Right. Oh, there's a card as well. Let's do the card first. Card first, always. <laughs> I love this card. I've sent this to a few people. May your day be as magical as, uni as a unicorn farting rainbows. <laughs> okay, who is this from? From James. Oh, it is from, it is from uh, a family friend. He's basically family. Dear Vicky, hope you have an amazing birthday. Lots of love, James. Oh, that's so lovely. Okay. What does he say? He's a big foodie. So maybe it's... Something food. <gasps> oh my gosh, let's put that aside. Like, yes. Yes, James. Look at all these sweeties. So we've got fizzy watermelons, strawberries. These are my favourite, these big strawberries. Uh, jelly rubies, yes, please. Those will be like the, the tangy, like, are they like dummies or something? And the, oh, it's getting caught on my t shirt. And the cola bottles. Oh my gosh. And then what's this one? I'm not sure what this is. A candle? It says happy birthday on it. Let's open it. Yes. Oh, what is that scent? I'm not even sure what the scent is. It smells really nice. It smells like, like, um, I don't know why I'm showing it to you. <laughs> candle looks like. It's like a, it smells like men's cologne, but in a nice way. It's a lovely gift. Oh my gosh. And also... This is where my brain goes these days. This basket is Molly sized. So she'll be very happy with that. So wow, thank you so much, James. Obviously, I will have messaged you and everybody else uh, by the time this video goes up to say thank you. So lots and lots of lovely presents. Or four new books, which is very exciting. Some book vouchers. I just I'm a, I'm a bit overwhelmed. I can't lie. But the main thing to say is thank you so very, very, very much to everybody that cont contributed to this. I really, I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, really do appreciate it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed a very excited 36-year-old on her birthday. Um, so since that I've filmed that clip, I've had a couple more packages arrive. I had a beautiful um, card and sweet selection from my lovely um sister daisy which i'll put a picture up off here up here because uh, obviously i needed more sweets um hilariously about a day or so before my birthday i said to gary i was like our snack drawer is looking a little bit light and he was like well that's a good thing because we're supposed to be you know making better food choices in september um and then i've had a ton of sweets arrive and i was like well what what, what is a girl to do um so yeah that was really lovely and very much appreciated um i'm also going to show you on my actual birthday i think i said in that clip i can't remember but we went book shopping so I, we went for went to uh where did we go we went to mr b's waterstones and toppings um and we also went out for lunch like you'll have seen or you will see that footage in the b-roll of my the second part of my august vlog i'm sorry this is all a little bit scattered but i was trying to work out where to fit things in and i kind of want this video to be in august so we're just we're, we're rolling with it um so yeah so we went book shopping bye bye molly cat um oh she's coming over to sniff everything and probably sit on the cardboard box are you gonna sit on the ferro rocher like the queen you are she's like no i'm gonna give you a filthy look and walk out um so yeah i spent some of my book vouchers already still got a bit left but i did spend some i also bought one book in toppings which i'm counting as a birthday present because uh my lovely in-laws gave me some money so i'm gonna like say that that's what some of that went towards and then i've had two more parcels arrive from my wish list so i thought i would open them here because i suspect they're probably birthday presents so oh hello molly are you gifting me with a cuddle she's like no I'm going to stay just out of sight. She is honestly, I promise she's here. I'm not just talking to myself. Right, let's show these books. So I feel like this video is already too long. So the two books that I spent part of my uh, Mr. B's vouchers from uh, Charlie, Amelia and Olivia Savannah. Um, these were two, there was one that I'd heard of before and then one was a completely random pick. And that's the thing that I love about Mr. B's. It's an independent bookshop. So I often find stuff in there that I don't find in other places and they have really, really good recommendations, really solid recommendations. You can't even see her when she walks behind me. She's here. Like, <laughs> um, So the one that I had heard of before and had been interesting, interested in is an author that I've read 
uh, but I've read her thriller work and I think this is her first historical novel. Uh, so this is The Skeleton Key by Erin Kelly. Kelly. It says one book, A Lifetime of Obsession, and it's kind of a dark family saga, something to do. It's about a book within a book. I love books about books. I also love this cover and they have the hard back in there as well. And it's one of those rare times I think the hardback is better look, uh, the paperback is better looking than the hardback. So I picked that up. Um, it's got quite small text, I'm not going to lie, and it's quite chunky, but it's nearly 500 pages. But I feel like this will be a really good September read. I feel like this is very kind of Halloween-y. So pick that one up. And then the completely random choice uh, that I saw on one of the shelves was Headwitch by Sky McKenna. And it says, witches aren't born, they're made. And this is a middle grade. Again, look at that cover. Um, about a, a witch uh, and... She it says, with the help of a talking cat and a flying broom, Cassie escapes to the enchanted village of Hedgley. There she'll begin her training in the practical skills of witchcraft with the hedge witch who watches over the hedge, the vast forest that marks the border between England and fairy. And I think this is going to, this is a series because on the back it says, look out for wood witch, this one here. So yeah, I was just like, again, October read. It's got a talking cat, a black talking cat in it and a, and a, and a flying broomstick. I was like, I'm in. Um... And it's got like the chapter headings I've got illustrated. Oh yeah, I, I had a flick through and I was like, yes, please and thank you. Um, and then we went to Toppings, which is just in Bath. It's in this absolutely stunning building in an old meeting house. And every time I walk in there, I'm just like, whoa. It was really busy when we got there because we went there after lunch. And I don't think I've ever been there at that time of day. And it was always too busy. Like Gary waited outside, um, poor man. Uh, so yeah, I still had a good rummage and then found one book that I really, really wanted, which Laura, um, at Laura and her bookish thoughts on Instagram had messaged me and said, are you aware that this is out? And I actually had asked for an arc from the publisher, hadn't got it and then probably forgot about the book. So I was really glad that she reminded me because the book, and this is a signed first edition, <laughs> so I hope I like it, is Learned by Heart by Emma Donoghue. Emma Donoghue, we know, wrote The Pull of the Stars, one of my favourite books of all time, but I also DNF'd her previous book her previous book so we will see but this one is about uh gentleman jack and lister um and i don't even know that much else about it i was like that that's enough for me to know but i love this cover this is obviously i'll take this off because this is covering up part of the beautiful cover but look at these sprayed edges i mean like yeah i made a little noise like the black is on the top of the bottom i made a little noise in the shop because they're so be it's so beautiful. So I'm very, very excited to read this. I don't even know. Like, I might have to wait a little bit to read it because I'm so excited about it. I kind of need my internal hype to die down. But yeah, that was the book that I bought with. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. With part of the money that my in-laws gave me. So thank you very much, Chris and Terry. And then we have two more. So two more parcels that arrived. They came through and Gary was like, more parcels? I was like, I know, it's it's completely crazy. So this one came first, so we'll open this together. Oh, nice off in one. Right. Gift note first. Who is this from? Oh, it's from Rihanna, the Welsh reader. Happy birthday, Victoria. Hope you have a lovely day celebrating. This book is so pretty. I couldn't resist getting it for you. What What did you go for? Okay, I'm very, very excited. Thank you so much, Rihanna. Oh, it's one of the cute little classics. Okay, which one have we got? Robin Hood. I've not read Robin Hood. So I found on, um, what editions are these? I found on Amazon these really cute editions of classics uh this is the exclusive collection whatever that means uh oh it's the wordworth wordsworth editions um and there's a whole bunch of these just little like children's classics and this is this is a lovely choice thank you so much Rihanna. and i've actually never read some of the ones i've put on my wish list i've read before but i've actually never read robin hood i love i love this cover um so yeah this will be the story of Robin Hood, who steals from the rich and gives to the poor so that's very exciting thank you very much Rihanna. okay let's put that in there and then let's see what this one is. And then we'll close off what is probably a video that's far too long. But what else would you expect from me? Oh, absolutely ruined this envelope. Okay, let's try. Oh, no, it's gone. It's gone wrong, guys. I can't even show you what a mess it is because it's got my address on it. Right, here we go. Right, gift note first. All right, Molly. She's judging me for the mess I'm making. Ah, oh, Emily from um, Emily Kathleen reads, she said, happy birthday. Sorry if this is late, but as a huge Agatha Christie fan, I couldn't scroll past one on your list. Have a lovely day. This is so cute. Okay, so she has gone for, yeah. 
Uh, she's gone for Sleeping Murder, which is the next Miss Marple book that I need to read. I have been, if you don't know, I've been reading these really slowly. Molly <laughs> literally just sat there staring at me. What do you want? You've just had breakfast. Um, yeah, so I've been reading these really slowly over the last like two years. I'm really enjoying them. Um, and this one is the next one. And I know literally nothing about it. It just says a strange house, a ghost from the past. That's all I need to know. So yeah, I'm very excited and I love this cover. This is very pretty. So thank you so much, Emily. That's really kind. Ooh, there's a really nice illustration on the inside. That's nice. Is it the same at the back? No, you just got the list of uh, Miss Marples. Okay, so that's very exciting. So that's two more books to add to my, my TBR. Um, so let's finish off this video. Thank you so, so much. If you sent me a message, tagged me in a post, uh, sent me something, called me, texted me, came and saw me during my birthday weekend. I really appreciate it. I felt very, very loved. I felt quite overwhelmed. I can't lie. I did go offline for like most of the day because I was getting so many messages and notifications. It was so lovely, but I was also getting a little bit overwhelmed by it. Like the blue team, um, cause at the time of filming this, I'm taking part in the amazing readathon. I'm one of the co-hosts or co-captains for the blue team. Um, like the blue team chat on discord was just full of like cute, like people's pets and really fun emojis all wishing me a happy birthday. Um, it was just a really lovely day. So thank you so much. If you, um, kind of contributed to that. Also, I still, I like, I haven't watched back the clip for my birthday, so I don't know if I'm repeating. So I'm sorry if I am. Um, if you donated to my birthday, uh, just giving, thank you so much for that. Uh, that will run, I think until the 2nd of September. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go and donate there to help celebrate my birthday by donating money to the book trust. It's a fantastic cause. Uh, so yeah, thank you so very much, everybody. And thank you for watching this video as well. So if you got to this point in the video, it's going to have to be like some kind of birthday emoji, like a birthday cake. Let's do cake. Let's have a birthday cake because I had two. I was very spoiled. I had one that my mother-in-law did, which was this incredible cat cake, which I'll leave here. Um, and then my husband also uh, got me a cake that was covered in um, pick mix, which I also loved. And again, I'll put a picture up here. Editing me is growling at the screen currently. Um... So yeah, let's have a cake because I was lucky enough to have two. Uh, so please subscribe if you like more of this chaos and I will see you in the next one. Thanks everyone. Bye.